I know that uh, Sean, my boss, is going through some big time at the moment um, with the uh, terrible and tragic loss of his of his brother, <clears throat> who uh, took his own life a couple of days ago, and uh, deeply affects all of us here. And all our love and thoughts and prayers to the whole family, Sean. You know, uh, I didn't have to go on about what happened last year, and I was very fortunate to get a second chance at life, which I uh, absolutely adore. And, and I know the, the pain, and, uh, and it made me realise at the time, and I didn't really think about it, which is as dumb as I've, anything I've ever said. I never really thought about the, the wreckage that you leave behind and the people that you leave behind. And so this is what Sean's going through at the moment. It's just, uh, you sit there, you wonder, you question, and you think, you know, I've had a couple of, you know, very close friends commit suicide on me, and uh, not on me, I mean, on everyone that they loved and knew. And, and you sit there the whole time questioning, did I do enough? Did I know enough? Did I say enough? Did I contact enough? You know, all of these things. And in the end, there's nothing. The answer to that is that there's nothing because you're not in that person's head. So my only message here in, in the waffly way that I speak about it, I suppose, is that simply you just please, please say something to someone. Just say something to someone. I was very fortunate. I sent a text to my ex-missus. I used a word apparently I'd never used in 20 years of knowing it. And that triggered her. You know, she thought, something's got wrong. Something's wrong here. Something's not right with you. You know, just please say something to somebody. Reach out to someone and just say, I'm not coping. And I tell you what, that person's going to look at you with all the love in their eyes and say, it's okay. I'm here. Let's work this shit out, right? Please, please, if you're ever thinking like that, just remember that.